Hey everyone, welcome back to Tragic MTG, and we are hunting for lottery cards again. Uh, almost to the end of my six boxes, one each of the <clears throat> Masterpiece series, if you will. Um, I've got actually three packs left after these of each, and we'll do them all at once in the next, which will be the last video in this series. So... Wish me luck once again, and of course I will be scanning up the rare and hopefully anything even more rare than rare that we get out of here. Let's get into this. We got Battle for Zendikar, which I already found a um, um, expedition out of uh, one of these, so kind of a dead draw, but we got to go through it. What's the deal here? Got to read a drone. Got a Vampire Cleric Ally. We'll kind of go through the comments a little bit quickly. You guys have seen these. I don't have to say every name, do I? Touch of the Void. Alright, fine, I won't. Chasm Guide. Retreat to Hagra. Blighted Gorge. And Munda, Ambush Leader. Let's see, he's a legendary creature core ally with haste and rally. And he can do a bunch of stuff. You see it there? Look. Read it for yourself. Munda is 34 cents. Let's turn up the sound so you can get that that ding noise. Everybody loves the ding. And a full art mountain. I will keep that in a scion token. All right, next. Now for Zendikar pack. Just opens up like that quite efficiently. There's that card, and there's this card. And there's another two cards. And this one, Bone Splinters is a good card. Mortuary Mire, some Coils, some Spires, Vampiric Rites, Angel of Renewal, Breaker of Armies, and Dust Stalker. For four, it's an Eldrazi with Devoid and Haste. At the beginning of each end step, if you control no other colorless creatures, return Dust Stalker to its owner's hand. I bet it's about the same as Munda. It's pretty close. It's actually... I would think that Munda, Munda, whatever you want to say, would be a little bit more because it's a legendary and you can kind of use it as a commander. But maybe no one wants to do that. Tell me down below as you comment and like and subscribe. Hour of Devastation is next. Um, <clears throat> as I've been going through these boxes, obviously I found... Some mythics and things, but I forget exactly what I got out of these packs at this point. I've been doing this for like two years. We've got a camel, a mummy, open fire, bone slasher. Remember when I said I wasn't going to read every card? I lied, but now I'm telling the truth. Ceridon, Chandra's defeat, Gideon's defeat, someone else's defeat next, Dune Diviner, and Hazaret's Undying Fury. For four and two red, it's a sorcery. Shuffle your library, then exile the top four cards. You may cast any number of non-land cards with converted mana cost five or less from among them without paying their mana cost. Lands you control don't untap during your next untap step. So you can exert your mana base to do this thing. Seems iffy at best. And it is. <laughs> All right. I'm seeing a trend here. Got a bunch of 34 cent cards, but I'm getting some full art uh, lands out of the deal at least. The H of D Numero du Dos Firebrand Archer I've Got a guide. Another mummy Naga Warrior A Lurching Rot Beast I like that. Zombie Beast Desert A Manalith I'm not going to read that one because I promised Razaketh's Rite, oops, Ominous Sphinx, Claim to Fame, and the rare, Hostile Desert. You can add uh, Colorless, or you can pay two to exile a land card from your graveyard. Hostile Desert becomes a 3-4 elemental creature until end of turn is still a land. That's kind of got some possibilities if you're dumping a bunch of lands in your graveyard. Let's see how this one goes. <clears throat> it's 39 cents, and we got a regular mountain. And a Sun Scourge Champion, and that is it. All right, so far, not so great. Aether Revolt, save us. 
This is the job, people. Well, I got a foil, but of course, I don't think it was a uh, what we're really after here. Chaser, decommission, finality, implement of examination, Aegis Automaton, implement of ferocity, a bunch of implements here. We've got Ironclad Revolutionary, Hidden Herbalists, Fatal Push, so pretty good uncommon, I'll scan this one. There we go, I got a Mythic Planar Bridge, 249 for the Fatal Push. Planar Bridge uh, costs six for a legendary artifact. You can pay eight and tap it to search your library for a permanent card. Put it onto the battlefield and then shuffle your library. Mm, this seems like a Tron worthy card right here. Let's see if it sees any play. Yeah, not bad. Seven bucks for Planar Bridge. Great. You got a Fen Hauler and a Forest and an Energy. All right. Next one. So I believe uh, I did find another masterpiece in this series, and I want to say it was out of an Aether Revolt pack. So another possible dead draw here. <clears throat> Leaving the dust. Decommission. Resourceful return. Strangler. Brawler. Renegade map. Whatever that was. Some of this. A Cogwork Assembler. Airdrop Aeronauts. Crackdown Construct. Baral's Expertise uh, for 3 and 2 blue sorcery. Return up to 3 art target artifacts and or creatures to their owner's hands. You may cast a card with converted mana cost 4 or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. And I'll bet this one's got some possibilities. Probably a good commander uh, card here. Baral's Expertise. Never mind, it's 54 cents. <laughs> Maybe not. And a Swamp and a Servo. Alright, Oath of the Gatewatch. Get into it. Got a reflection. Brute strength. Scythe master. Whoops. Yeah, lead by example. Sure, I meant to show that one off. Raptor. Commando. Allied reinforcements. Baloth pup. Warping whale. Overwhelming denial. Two and two blue. With a surge cost of two blue. You may cast this spell for its surge cost. If you or a teammate has cast another spell this turn, overwhelming denial can't be countered by spells or abilities. You can counter target spell. Hmm. Good for two headed giant, I guess. And it's 42 cents. Got a full art and an ally. All right. This one is already like split open, just like that. The Aeronaut, the Entangler. Assuming sinkhole shoulder to shoulder. Saddleback Legac. I always just like saying that one. Vampire Envoy. <clears throat> Free Runner. Kazool's Toll Collector. Harvester Troll. Havoc Sower. Alright, come on. Something good here. Let's go. Vile Redeemer. It's a two two and a green for an Eldrazi. Three three. It's got devoid and flash. When you cast Vile Redeemer, you may pay a colorless. If you do, put a one more colorless Eldrazi sign creature token onto the battlefield for each non-token creature that died under your control this turn. These tokens have sacrificed this creature. Add colorless to your mana pool. It's nothing big there. We got an Akum Flame Seeker as a foil. And a full art. And a scion. <clears throat> Just plugging away here to Amonkhet. Can we get an invocation? I would rather have an invention. Sacred Cat. Compelling Argument. Cartouche. Quarry Holler. Cartouche. Hyena Pack. Impeccable Timing. Hapatra's Mark. On Crop Champion. Defiant Great Maw. And. Anointed Possession, this is pretty decent. Three and a white, it's an enchantment. If an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. So token doubler is pretty solid. That's, wow, a lot more solid than I remembered. Yes, yeah, rack them up. So, this card, 
has not been reprinted yet, so it's definitely due at some point. Uh, there's my big winner so far. $39.99 for Anointed Procession. Put a sleeve on that one at least. An island and an Avon. Great. Uh, let's see here. Another one. Compelling argument again. Brute strength again. Cartouche. Cartouche. Blighted bat. Haze of pollen. Cartouche. Falling wilds. Impeccable timing. Man, this is a weird like duplicate. We got True Heart Twins. Cryptic Serpent. Exemplar of Strength. As foretold, so a mythic. Two and a blue. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a time counter on as foretold. Once each turn, you may pay zero rather than pay the mana cost for a spell you cast with converted mana cost. X or less, where X is the number of time counters on as foretold. This one seems good. It is going to be nine bucks. So there, my, my Amiket packs worked out pretty good. Does it deserve a sleeve? Yes, it does. And don't worry, I'll probably go put a sleeve on the planar bridge too, since it's the other pretty decent card that I got here. I know you were agonizing about that a couple minutes ago when I did not do that, so. There. Get over it. All right, Kaladesh is next. The Thriving Turtle. Look how look how thriving it is. Look, it's just totally thriving. I guess. Ruinous Gremlin. You got a Hawk. You got a Wingsmith. You got a dude. You got a thing. There's some people. This lady. That guy. This thing. They're doing some stuff. Engineered Might. Bowmat Bizarre Barge. Jan Janjeet Sentry. And Gaunty Lord of Luxury. Legendary Aetherborn Rogue, two and a two black. He's a two three of Death Touch. When Gaunty Lord of Luxury enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of target opponent's library, exile one of them face down, then put the rest on the bottom of that library in random order for as long as that card remains exiled. You may look at it, you may cast it, and you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast it. It sounds exciting the way I say it there. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's only that much, though, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, the first printing is 50 cents. It's been printed like eight times since then. Thopter. All right, last pack. Thanks for sticking around, as always. Appreciate each and every one of you. This is what we do here. Just going through the cards. Dramatic reversal with the, with the Oath Watch. Or the Gate Watch, sorry. Wayward Giant. Some There's the Thriving. The Thriving Rats, right? Calidus is a, th a thriving plane, I think. Cog Workers Puzzle Knot. Tidy Conclusion. Some goggles. This th big thing. Revoke Privileges. Didn't we just see that? Oh, a different Puzzle Knot. I'm seeing a trend. Underhanded Designs. Unlicensed Disintegration. Giraper Guide. And Electrostatic Pummeler. For three, it's an artifact construct. 1-1 one, one, when it enters the battlefield, you get three energy counters. You can pay those energy counters to get plus X plus X where X is its power. Electrostatic Pummeler is 40 cents. And I got a Swamp and a Construct. And that does it for um, searching for lottery masterpieces that we did not find any. But got um, a couple good cards out of it anyway. So thanks for watching, as always. And I'll catch you on the next one.